Hi, welcome to The Bottom Line. I'm Mike Nolan, and I've got a question for you. Why would I even consider using this as my primary computing device? Well, that's why I purchased the iPad Pro to begin with. I knew that if I could, uh, in my budget, afford the iPad Pro 12.9 inch, and by the way, this is a 2020 uh, with the A12Z chip, that I could then later, with my budget, add a Magic Keyboard, add the Apple II Pencil, and that would begin what would extend into a further hub. Let me show you what I mean. So here's my iPad Pro 12.9 inch 2020 with the Magic Keyboard magnetically attached Apple II Pencil. How does this help run a corner office, let alone a studio? Well, let's take a look. We're gonna add one more device to the corner of this. So here's what I started off with after a couple of more buys. I bought the Apple Magic Keyboard and I also the Apple II Pen. And what I uh, decided to do from that point, as budget allowed, was to go ahead and add my first peripheral, which was a hub. And I like this one. This is made by Basis and it's a corner hub. The hidden port on this one is an SD card. Fits right there. You plug it in to your USB-C port right here. Then through HDMI, you can connect your monitor. You can connect your external hard drive. And so what's really nice about this is now you have, and of course you don't have to have a monitor this big. I was originally going to get a 34 inch ultra wide monitor in order to uh, be able to edit videos for the channel. But a lot of uh, families, they, they don't want to just sit back and, and just use iMovie or things like that. So there are apps available. LumaFusion is a wonderful app. As you can see on the screen here, uh, it's just merely mirroring what is on the app. But LumaFusion here has this capability. And it just is wonderful for editing. I mean, you can go in to an editing window, you can resize what you see, and there it is on the monitor. It's really great. You got family videos you want to add. You know, it's all there. And if you don't like the mistakes you made, you just take a step back and you're right back. So it's non-destructive editing, wonderful tool. There are other pro apps that you can get. All of them are about $50 or a little less. And when you think about it, if you had an iMac and you, you wanted to edit on a pro level, uh, you would probably uh, edit on Final Cut. Final Cut will cost you $300. This app will cost you 50. And it's a all in, buy all, no subscription. You buy it and it's got the tools. So, as you can tell, I've got three things plugged in right now. One is my Focusrite Scarlett 2i2, which I use as my preamp for recording and voiceovers, things like that. And I also have it plugged in to my external one terabyte G Drive by the company G Drive. So as you can see, the iPad Pro 13 inch model, full keyboard, magic keyboard, with the Apple II Pencil corner hub or another type of hub that you want to add to it with an external drive, a monitor of your choice, could fit very easily into your own home office and it'll meet your needs at every level. So there's a few tips for you and if you got any value out of them, please give us a thumbs up, hit the uh, top bell notification when you subscribe and you'll be notified of any future videos coming out. Thanks for watching The Bottom Line.